Hey everyone, it's Olivia, and today I'm just showing you how to make super simple almond butter cups. Um, obviously, you can also use peanut butter for these, but I'm allergic, so I use almond butter. Um, and another one that you could use is sunflower seed butter if you're allergic to tree nuts as well as peanuts. So, yeah, lots of options. Okay, let's get started. So, you'll need... Um, about half a cup of chocolate chips, but this is just depending on how many almond butter cups you want to make, uh, a small, small amount of coconut oil, some maple syrup, and then your nut or seed butter, and just some small little um, papers like for a cupcake tin. And then you just add the coconut oil to the chocolate chips and you microwave until they're melted. So I did one minute and then I took it out and stirred it. And stirring it actually helps it continue melting even after it's out of the microwave. But um, one minute definitely wasn't enough. So I put it back in the microwave and then I think I did another like 45 seconds. And then I just stirred it until it was melted after that. And as you can see, it's totally done now. And then you just put all of your little cupcake papers in a muffin tin, which I find the easiest, but you can also just put them on a tray. They'll kind of stand up on their own. It's not necessary to have a tin. And then uh, you can't really see what I'm doing here, but you'll be able to see in the next shot. So basically all I did is put about a teaspoon or a little bit less of chocolate in the bottom and then pushed it up around the edges so that it... Um, can like harden on the edges and make like a little shell rim around the chocolate so it's not just a flat amount of chocolate in the bottom I pushed it up around the sides and this is where your almond butter will kind of sit in um, and so that the chocolate's coating the outside so yeah there's not really any special way to do this I just used a spoon and kind of like pushed it around the outside and then you put that in the freezer for about 10 minutes but I just made my filling while I did that so basically you just pour in as much maple syrup or sweetener that you want um, to your nut butter. So some people might not want to use any, um, but I really love using a little bit of maple syrup. So yeah, I did probably about a tablespoon uh, or a little bit more and then I just stirred around. And the amount of almond butter I used was like a quarter cup, I guess. But again, it just depends how much you want in your cups. It will be different for, uh, for everyone. And then just try it to make sure that it tastes okay. And then while you're waiting, you can listen to some shitty music if that's what you're into. And then uh, you just take them out of the freezer and put a little dollop of your almond butter or nut butter mixture in the center. And I kind of just pack mine down. Um, make sure that it's not so much that it's like up to like the rim of the chocolate that you did just because then like it'll be hard to cover it over so yeah just smush it down and make sure there's still a little bit of chocolate poking out around the edges and then you just add the rest of your melted chocolate it should still be melted by the time you do this but if it's not just put it back in the microwave for like 30 seconds uh yeah and then you just put it on top and use your spoon to just smooth it over to make sure that it's connected to the outside edges that um, are frozen so like you can see here I just smoothed it around and then you just put that in the freezer until it's frozen and I store mine in the freezer uh, and then just take it out like a minute before I want to eat it so yeah I hope you enjoy and I will see you next time don't forget to subscribe for tons more recipe videos um, and whoa that was a weird noise uh, for tons more recipe videos and if you have any comments or suggestions of things you want me to try and make or you want me to try and make vegan then definitely leave a comment below and yeah i'll see you next time bye